Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest with us today. We have Dr. Ellen Cutler, and she is a chiropractor, but yet she's a speaker and a published author, and she is a specialist when it comes to gut health and good digestion. And she has a lot of areas of expertise that she's going to talk about today to help everybody improve their overall life and health. Before we begin, we begin I just want to give a quick shout out um, to DMA World. DMA World is a consulting agency, and they help the small businesses not get scammed by those big marketing companies that take people's money. He, he helps people, and he works with people. So small businesses can be gradually become biz big businesses without spending tons of money. So why don't you check out and visit dmaworld.com. It, uh, it's a great website and he, they're great people who look to help people. And the owner is named Mark and he is there to help you and answer all your questions. So once again, visit dmaworld.com when you're looking to build your business and not get scammed by these big marketing companies. So let's go back to Dr. Ellen, our superstar of the day. And Dr. Ellen, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do? Yes, it's so great to be here with you. My, well, I was born in New York, so I'm an East Coaster. <laughs> I love your little accent. It's so nice. <laughs> and my husband is from New York too. He still has that accent. So I love it. I feel at home. I feel at home. Anyway, uh -huh. I am a chiropractor. I also got a medical degree too. I also went back to school and got a medical degree, but I practice in California under my chiropractic degree. But my specialty has been in good gut health and digestion. Digestive enzymes, which I am passionate about, is the, I believe, the number one supplement and maybe the only supplement that you really need to take regularly. It changed my life. It saved my life. I was diagnosed with colitis when I was in chiropractic school. And the only remedies that were offered were drugs and possible surgery later on. And here I'm in a natural, a natural chiropractic, uh, you know, natural uh, study. And yeah. I said, no, there's got to be something else. I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do. And right. I took a, an orthopedic course and one of my mentors knew my, what I was going through. I really, all I could live on was just one food a day. I was really not in good shape and I had to pay for myself going back to school, no sleep. It was, it made everything worse. Yeah. So he said, did you ever hear of a digestive enzyme? And at that time it wasn't on the radar. Nobody knew what it was. And he right. said, I think you're carbohydrate intolerant. You don't break down carbohydrate. You get fermented and it causes more inflammation in your colon. Right. Try taking a full spectrum digestive enzyme that definitely focuses on sugars and starch digestion and see how you do. Right. Well, within two weeks, never had a problem again. It's pretty, it's a miracle. That's why I wrote my new book, my book that's the new versions coming out it's called Micro Miracles, Discover the Healing Power of Enzymes. Because what happened was I saw other amazing things that happened in my body. My yeah. energy was better, my hair, my nails, my skin, sleep, hormones. So I decided every person that came to see me as a chiropractor, chiropractic patient, I would give them a digestive enzyme. I didn't care if they came in with a headache or a sprain or whatever, low back pain. And I saw miracles in my yeah. office. And I began to then develop into looking at other sources of health issues. And I developed a technique called ECM that is an energetic technique that looks at the underlying root of illnesses and chronic conditions. And so those are my specialties and enzymes are part of the ECM work for sure. And improving your gut, which we talked about is such an important aspect of health and longevity. You know, I, I don't think people realize today how important 
important. You know, like when we were discussing shortly before we started the podcast, we were talking about, you know, nowadays there are so many illnesses and people, you know, a lot of times just listen to what the doctor says, or they go online and they read material. And a lot of this material is misleading and a lot of problems, you know, there's a root cause for everything. Anything that happens to us, there is a root cause. It could be a symptom or it could be, you know, anything, but there's a root cause why you're feeling a certain way, why you have a certain illness. And it's getting down to that root cause. And so much is related to gut health and enzymes and, and people don't realize the importance. And I don't even think a lot of people understand about enzymes and of what they do, why they're so important and how they play such a big role on our digestive tract and our bodies. Maybe you can go a little bit into detail and explain to people about gut health and, and explain to people why enzymes are such an important role in our body and how people can actually improve their, their overall health and their gut health also, you know, with enzymes and what they can do. Yes. Well, first of all, enzymes are protein. Yes. And there's probably not one system in our body that doesn't depend on enzymes to make it work. The immune system, the repair system, the kidneys, the gut, all of it. And there are three, I always like to talk about it. There are three different kinds of enzymes. So there are digestive enzymes that our body produces naturally from the, the from the stomach, from the pancreas, small mm -hmm. intestines. Those are the enzymes our body produces. We right. can't replace those enzymes. That's right. not, we don't replace those enzymes. And then there are metabolic enzymes that I said that, that have to do with all other systems of the body, respiratory system, immune system, uh, repair system, et cetera. And yeah. then there are food enzymes. Mm -hmm. So there are enzymes in our food. So that's why eating a whole plant food diet is at least 75% of your diet should be plant food. Okay. Right. And it could be root vegetables. It could be regular, but it should be, we should get that because those have the digestive enzymes. But unfortunately, our soil has been so over agriculturized. A lot of the cofactors that should normally be in those foods to create the enzymes are not there. So we are devoid of those enzymes, even if we eat a good organic whole plant food diet. And right. I found that out in myself because I always ate more vegetables, but I was bloated all the time. I was had I had horrible bowel problems and I was energy energized. I was like like somebody took all my energy out. I had no energy. And so taking a digestive enzyme, which is really not like a supplement, is what should normally be in food, taking it with all your meals, which I do, or at least one meal a day can improve and optimize your nutrition and support your gut and support all your body. Because what happens if you're not getting those enzymes, the body starts borrowing those other enzymes from other parts of the body to digest your food. So guess what? Your immune system suffers. So December, we eat crap. Yeah. <laughs> and then January, everybody's sick. It's not right. because there are more viruses around. They're always around. It's because when we eat those foods that have zero good stuff in them yeah. and, you know, the, all the sugars and all the carbs, you know, we are not getting that enzyme nutrition, not getting those planned foods and our immune system starts doing the digestion and our immune system suffers and we get sick. Yes, it's very true. And, you know, once I started incorporating enzymes into my diet, I noticed a big change in, I was always bloated. I never, I always looked in the mirror and I looked like I was three months pregnant, never could understand why, you know, I was suffering from constipation and, you know, it was like my whole system was just totally upside down. And once I started incorporating enzymes into my, my daily diet and my, my living, you know, I, it was like unbelievable. Like, 
I just totally, it, it helped the detoxification. It just cleansed my body. I started noticing that I wasn't bloated anymore. You know, I was going to the bathroom more regularly. I didn't have all those digestive issues that I was suffering from. And, you know, I make it a, 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 a point to have, you know, incorporate diet enzymes into my daily diet every single day. And it does play a big role. And I, it, people really need to understand the importance. And, and maybe you could explain to people if they don't do that, what are some of the things that could happen to people like you know your your is it was was a big deal also because right. you know my mother suffered from that and she would bleed from the rectal area and you know she had it for years but then she changed her diet and it naturally went away isn't that amazing you know yeah. it's it's we were talking about people's health and whatever and it's interesting it's so darn simple to be yeah. healthy it's not hard Right. It's hard because we make it hard because we eat the wrong foods and we and, you know, and of course, people take so many different supplements and it's not that I'm down on all these supplements. But honestly, if you don't digest your food, how are you going to digest all those supplements, too? Right? Yeah. 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 And so it's like people will come in with suitcases of supplements. And in <laughs> my work, I can actually test people and see what they're sensitive to, what they're allergic to and what they need. Usually yeah. you don't need any of that, you know, and, but yeah. taking a digestive enzyme makes a big difference, but it really, I have, my book talks about different subjects that I have seen different conditions. Chronic fatigue is one fibromyalgia is another one, which you talked about detoxification. Fibromyalgia has a lot to do with how the body detoxifies. Yes. Taking an enzyme can help your, all your systems work better too. 100%. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And then yeah. hormonal imbalance, women going through menopause and all the symptoms. Why do some women have all these symptoms and some women don't? Right. You exactly. Know? Why? Eating the wrong foods, eating too yes. much sugar, eat, mm -hmm. drinking too much alcohol is a big one, but mm -hmm. not digesting your food. I was the same way. I was bloated all the time ever since I was a little girl and my parents didn't quite understand it, you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. And it always got worse when I was around my period and they didn't quite understand that either. And yeah. so it does help with hormones too, but it helps with acne, helps with hair. And a lot of women with men, it's a little different losing their hair, but when women talk about losing their hair, it's a big deal. That's a very, it's very hard for women. Yeah. Unbelievable. When you start taking a digestive enzyme, you know, I could look at someone and see if they're digesting their food. Right. Yes. Your, their face, they're radiant. I could see it in you. Hair yeah. is better. Skin is better. They're vibrant. They stand up. You know, they, they, they're happier. Yeah. Because when your gut is off, it's hard to feel good. Yes. <laughs> and if you're not eating the proper foods, even if you think you're eating healthy, if it's not the right foods, you're not going to, you're not going to improve. You have to be really incorporating a healthy diet that your body is actually has enzymes in it, that it's getting that enough of protein, that it's getting the nutrients that it needs in order for it to produce enzymes in order for you to digest your food properly. I, you know, I, I know, my, you know, for people that, you know, they would eat food and it would just go through their system and the body wouldn't absorb the nutrients. And once they change their diet once they started eating the right foods it was like a miracle happened i knew people that just like within months they they lost the extra weight they needed then th their face like you said became more radiant they they got more energy all because they changed the way they were eating and their food consumption and you made a great point because so many people read so many articles. Now I'm a big, I, I believe in vitamins and supplements and I love all that stuff, but you really have to really know what you're taking and exactly. just don't take it because it's, it says it's good for X, Y, and Z. You really need to know what you're taking and if you really need it. And you have to also make sure that it doesn't interact with any medications you might be taking because exactly. supplements are just as strong sometimes and potent as medications. And, you know, 
I personally, when I wasn't feeling good and my stomach was totally off and I was having medical issues, I went and got a full blood checkup by a functional medicine doctor. And I was able to see what I was deficient in, what I, what my problems were and where, what things needed to be tweaked. And isn't that important to like get a full checkup? So you know exactly what you need, like to go to someone like you and to be able to really figure out what your body needs, because without a full examination and without someone who knows, you know, functional medicine and knows about natural health, it sometimes you get steered in the wrong direction, don't you think? Exactly. Yes. And I use both. I use laboratory tests. The The program, the ECM work, mm-hmm. the program I have, I have a library. I call them libraries of so many items. I'm able, and I teach this, able yeah. to see what people are deficient in that sometimes even doesn't show up in a laboratory test right. too. Because laboratories will test, will change sometimes from day to day. Some of the deficiencies that are really underlying root of what's going on, I can detect with that as well. Like there's a hormonal deficiency or there's a vitamin or a mineral deficiency too. too. And sometimes what happens is people are sensitive to supplements, yes. sensitive to vitamins. If you're sensitive to that vitamin, you could be taking it. You're still deficient because you're not utilizing it. You're right. reacting in a toxic way with mm-hmm. that too. Right. So A lot of what I recommend I've used in my practice for years and years are supplements that are with enzymes. This is the, so it's an enzyme systemic supplement that has some herbs in it or vitamins in it. So the enzymes help you, the catalysts, they help you utilize those substances Mm -hmm. and you're absorbing them better with the digestive enzyme you're getting and helping with the foods too, between both of those can help a lot with deficiencies and don't have to be on them forever now because people take these supplements they're on it forever yeah, yeah. Not, it's not meant for that really no, you know the only one i think is the digestive enzyme and going along with that chewing your food well is important yes. too I see so many people is, you know, especially as people get older, they gobble down food so quickly. They don't give their bodies enough time to digest. A lot of people don't even realize that they're full because they ate the food so fast. I was just going to say that. And they crave, then they crave food and they overeat, which doesn't help because then you want to overeat all the time because, you know, you're, you, that's becomes your habit is overeating, you know, not feeling satiated, not feeling full. And you get that right. carb craving all the time too, you know? So, and I have found too, is that when you don't digest and you are bloated, whatever, you tend to crave those foods that are the worst for you. Yes, it's very true. It's so true. And, yeah. you know, I find that, you know, um, by, by stopping sugar, you know, I think that was one of the best things that I ever did. And it was hard, you know, because people don't realize if your body is taken in toxins, you know, food that is toxic to the body, your body doesn't know how to break it down. And a lot of times it stores it in the body and then it makes our organs sluggish. And that's where the fatigue comes in. And that's where we start feeling, not feeling well. And then it changes the whole chemistry of the body. And then we end up, you know, with the possibilities of acquiring illness illnesses in the future. And I I feel like, you know, stopping sugar is a really important thing that people should consider. And to me, it was very hard. It was like getting off a heroin when I wanted, when I was getting off of sugar. Exactly. Yes. Is there, is there a particular enzyme? uh, Because you were talking about an enzyme supplement. Do you make them or do you sell a request or, you know, suggest a specific one that you think is good for people? I do have on my website enzymes that I recommend that I do put together are called Dr. Ellen's Way. The okay. reason I did that is I just wasn't satisfied sometimes with, and I'm saying, I'm so passionate about it. Why don't I just, you know, it's just a yeah. couple of enzymes. One of them is the the doc, the, the full spectrum digestive enzymes, and it can't mm-hmm. hurt anyone. The other one is, it's what I call Dr. Ellen's Way GI Com. It's a excellent enzyme for people who have reflux, Mm -hmm. heartburn, GERD, or who eat too much (laughs) and and they go on vacation. They need this enzyme. Once you have this enzyme and, and use it and it works, it's like magic. You'll just, you can't leave home without it. So those are the enzymes. So I, those are the ones I use and I recommend but uh, but they're not the only ones too. There you can dip, and you can get some ideas too. But 
they're not expensive. And, you know, honestly, and I said, even if you take it once a day, some people right. say, I can do it every meal. Okay. I, you know, even once a day. And it's good for children too, as well, you know, and be an, be, you know, be a role model for your children too. And honestly, how you can expect them to stop eating those empty calories and sugar if you're not stopping. So yay, you did that. That's really important, you know, because insulin resistance, which is what occurs with eating too much sugar, the body is not, the cells are not getting what they need. And that yeah. sugar is just turned into fat and it, it can cause anything from fatty liver to kidney problems and cognitive problems too, as well. A hundred percent, you know, and I, I feel like, you know, in today's society, I'm seeing more and more young kids and teenagers overweight and it, it kind of scares me, you know, and there's so many foods on in our society that is toxic to the body and, and people don't even realize, you know, it's so important, I think, to, to look at the ingredients and really know what you're giving yourself and your children and your family members, because there's so many hormones and like in eggs and, and ingredients that are, you know, in, in chickens and meats and, and so many things are being spread with, you know, different pesticides, people are being, their bodies are being poisoned and they don't even realize it. And you could see it in their, their makeup of their body types. And do you see that in your own practice? Do you yes. See and you know, I was just talking with somebody, you know, she's dealing with mold, she's dealing with pesticides, she's dealing with other chemicals that she's up against. And it causes her to have an eating disorder. It it worsens. She has an eating disorder, worsens her eating disorder. Interesting, right? Yeah, and, really. you know, so I see it so often too. And that's why, you know, the, the, I always say there's so much you can control. We can't control the environment. You know, we don't, you, you can't even smell mold sometimes. I mean, and, and it could be, an, that's one of the things I'm able to see if somebody is dealing with mold. But yeah. you can control what you put in your mouth. What's at the end of your fork. Right. And that's exactly. really, really important. I'm a vegan. I think vegan being a vegan is probably the best diet. But of course, everybody needs to do what they feel is right. But our body was not meant to eat 12 ounce steak. Right. No. So if not. you have some animal protein, you have if you go to some of these other countries, they have it as, you know, part of their vegetable dish. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, and I have felt ever for years and years, decades, that eating fat is the number one cause of aging. I yeah. don't recommend fat. I don't care. People can say, well, I'm on a keto diet, I'm paleo, whatever. It's not meant for us to eat that much fat. It's not healthy. You know, I don't know anyone that does well with it. So I, you know, eating a diet that's mostly plants, Maybe if you want some animal protein, a small portion of it too. And, and, you know, and also not too many fruits because a lot of people substitute sugars with fruits, Yeah, which, you know, can have some, but eating too much does the same thing. It's too much sugar. Yeah. And I've seen people, you know, a lot of these fad diets, you see them always, you know, like the new hottest diet and this and that. And, you know, even the keto diet, you know, it wasn't meant to be, I think for more than six months, you shouldn't be on a keto diet. Right. Exactly. I know people that were doing it for like, you know, for years, and then they ended up getting very ill. And they wonder why they have all these stomach problems, or their gallbladder had to be removed. And they're not feeling well now. Well, you know, our bodies were not meant to, to have these type of diets. You know, we, it's it, like you said, it, it's, it's very simple. People make it more complicated. I, you know, a healthy diet is what people need, you know, and the, and the production of enzymes in their body and, and taking an enzyme, I think is perfect. You know, um, you know, I, I, I don't think people realize that it's not that complicated, maybe a little bit of exercise, healthy foods, staying away from the fats, staying away from the high sugar and high sodium um, foods that could play a humongous, I think, impact on a person's health. It can make a person like new, don't you think? Yes. And I'm glad you brought exercise because I'm the number one proponent of exercise. I think it's so important uh, exercise. It's, I've been doing it ever since I think I was in high school. It's just, yeah. it, it's, I can't imagine getting up because I get up really early and I meditate and I exercise. I can't imagine not exercising every morning. I right. feel so much better. You know, 
increase circulation. It's good for your brain. It's good for your hair. It's good for your veins. It's yes. overall and the blood supply to all these organs. So I really am, you know, and and resistant exercises as you get older is really important. It helps you with balance too. It helps you, it helps the strength of your bones, your mus yeah. good muscular support. But I think also getting some high intensity interval exercise a couple of days, two to three days a week. I think yeah. it's important also too. Oh, in increasing your stamina for sure. Yeah. And I think too, you know, people don't realize that when you're exercising, you're drinking more water too, yeah. and you're yeah. flushing out all those toxins out of your body. And, you know, even people who don't like to drink water when you're, when you're exercising, you just, you have to have it, you know, and it really, you, you feel a difference when you're drinking, you know, and having more, more water in your, your diet. And I think that's another problem. People don't drink enough of water. Yeah. And my, I have a, a monthly newsletter this newsletter that just came out today is on dehydration. So people can subscribe to newsletter free and read and all kinds of different topics. And you can look at all the archives of all of it. It's all about dehydration. That's great that you brought it up. Very <laughs> true. And not drinking too much, but drinking. I, what I do is I try to sip water when I'm working at home. It's different right. on the weekends, but I try to sip every, every 30 minutes maybe sip some water so i'm trying to get enough water That's every perfect. day yes yeah and I, I think, you know, even people who drink a lot of coffee or they drink alcohol, they don't realize that they dehydrate in their body exactly. and, you know, and, you know, and they really should like, you know, folk, people should focus on, you know, if they are coffee drinkers or if they do, you know, attend to have alcohol to drink even more water into their diet. So they stay hydrated because exactly. even, you know, we talk about anti-aging, you know, dehydration is one of the main reasons for wrinkles, you know, so, you know, if you want to stay young, you know eating those healthy foods and, and drinking plenty of water is one way to do it, you know? Exactly. Definitely. Yes, for sure. Incorporate more water into the, in the diet too. Absolutely. Now, what are the, some of the things that your new book goes into? Like you, I, you were talking about it, you just recently launched it. Can you tell us a little about that book? So the book is all about the power of, and the miracle of enzymes and all the different disorders and different conditions I've seen related to it, anywhere from arthritic problems to inflammation, chronic fatigue, I mentioned female problems as well, and skin too. There, there's a chapter on anti-aging that is expanded. So it's all new stuff. But what I'm most excited about is a whole new chapter on enzymes and the pandemic. Oh, And also long haulers. I've had excellent results with utilizing enzymes and my work, the ECM work with people that have suffered with COVID and I have excellent results with it. And sometimes it can be very quick and sometimes it can take a little time, but they see the progress, you know, cause there are so many people that suffer with fatigue. Vertigo has been a big one too. And, uh, uh, brain fog, the yeah. en enzymes and my ECM work. So what I do is when someone comes in, I look to see what is the underlying cause. Honestly, sometimes they're still sensitive to that COVID virus, that variant. Yeah. Energetically, they're still dealing with it. Maybe it's not, it's not an acute situation. It's not something you can test on a laboratory, but I can find it energetically. So yeah. that and the use of enzymes, one of the enzymes I've used for inflammation is protease. Protease is an enzyme that digests protein, but when mm -hmm. you take it away from meals, it's anti-inflammatory. It also eats up other proteins that shouldn't be in the body too, in oh. the blood. So it can actually destroy cancer cells as well as viruses. It can help with that too. So protease, and I talk a lot about protease in there too. And, and there's a chapter on cancer as well. So it's, I'm so excited about that because I've been waiting. It's taken so long to get this book out. I don't know. After COVID, <laughs> everything is so slow. It was supposed to be out a yeah. year ago. So I'm like so excited. It's finally out. And, yeah. and because it's really been, enzymes have been, I've probably been taking enzymes more than anyone on this planet that, and it, I, it's, I can't see never, I, it, it's not a day that I don't mention it to somebody who, oh. who now, it makes such a big difference for them. 
does. You know, I, I'm telling you, I, I take it daily and I notice, you know, such a huge change. I'm actually, I'm going to try your enzymes because I, yeah, you know, I'm so glad that's great. Yeah. Good. Because you know what, I, it sounds like a very high quality supplement and you know, I, it's very important when you purchase supplements that you make sure that you have, yeah. you buy quality. Yeah. Because you know, a lot of people don't realize it, but nowadays it's very easy to put something out there and it's not high quality or it has fillers in it. And you need to really make sure the supplement you're taking is high quality. People don't always realize they look at the price before they look at the quality of the of the product. And it makes a difference when you're buying high quality products versus, uh, you know, products that are pure junk, you know, and people and I price doesn't really matter, you know, because you could buy a product and it could be cheap and it could be a very good product, you know, exactly. just because it has a high dollar sign does not mean it's 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 good. You have to look at the back and the ingredients and that's how you know. And sometimes products will cost a couple extra dollars, but the quality is so much different than you know, the, the other ones that are on the market. So I don't mind buying, spending a little extra or I don't mind buying a cheaper product. I have to look at the back of the ingredients and know what I'm buying and it makes a big difference. And I always tell people, check the ingredients and, and know what you're buying. Exactly. That's why I wanted to come up with my own. So, cause people say, cause I have people I work with all over the world, you know, and what can, what can I, where, where can I find, you know? So, yeah. so, and fortunately, now we can send places, we can send to all over. We're able to do that. It wasn't like that for a long time, but we can. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, I love enzymes. It's just, it's, it's such, makes such a difference in your life too. I tell you when you're, if I had to go into work every day and my gut was not happy, it's hard to help people. It's hard to be yeah. a service to anyone yeah. when you don't feel well. And I remember to this day, I remember what it was like when I didn't feel well like that. Yeah. And, you know, I never want to be like that again. So I'm very rigid about that. And again, what you put in your mouth every day, it's important, you know, and you got to start early because you start eating this uh, empty calories young. You remember yeah. you're building, these kids are building bodies for adulthood yeah. They're not going to have healthy bodies. And no. the the obesity is, it's, you know, the, oh. I was just reading a book. Uh, it's called The Scarcity Brain. I was reading about, reading this weekend. And it talked about the difference in the servings of the people they go to restaurants, what it used to be, like in the 70s and now what it is like now. I, yeah. I, I could never eat, you know, I couldn't. <laughs> That's why I don't go out to eat that much, but it's, it's, you know, and that by 2035, it's going to be like a hundred percent of uh, obesity. I mean, that's, they used to yeah. say 2050, another thing with 2035. That's not, that's not long ago from that, you know, no. not far away. So it, it, it upsets me when I, I see so much obesity and I see so and many kids and the kids especially, and, you know, and they publicize, you know, obesity to be a good thing, you know, in the media that, you know, it's, 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 it's okay. And, it, and, you know, it's not okay. You know, it's not okay. Health wise, you're opening yourself up to so many different illnesses, you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart problems, stroke, you know, kidney failure, liver problems, you know, all these things are all could be related to obesity and, and, and too much fat in your body. And people don't realize how important it is. And when you say about the, 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 the table size, I, it makes me laugh because when I went to Europe for the first time and I sat down, they gave me a meal, the plates were so small and the servings were so small. And I go like, how am I going to get full on this? But then I got so full because it was fresh food fresh food versus processed food. And when you eat fresh food, especially when it's, it's, it's from the backyard and it's fresh, you know, vegetables and fresh this and fresh that you get full very quickly. And it, it's a, it's a good feel, full and feel, feeling because if you're tired after a meal, that means your body's having trouble breaking down that meal. Oh, true. That means that you're not eating the right food. That's your body saying, I'm working too hard. You got to stop eating this. And you know, when I came back to America that you come here and they're like, the serving sizes are this big. 
we don't, you know, that's not a, you know, people don't understand the the right size, the right quantity. If you take a Weight Watch, I think the Weight Watchers dishes are the greatest because they actually have the healthy portion sizes. And, you know, they have one for the meats and they have one for the vegetables and they have one for the carbohydrates. And you're not supposed to go past, you know, the, 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 the serving size. And that's a great way to teach people. This is exactly how much food you should have in your diet when you're eating a meal. You know, well, I used to say that this is the size of your stomach. So you shouldn't eat more than that yes. <laughs> at one time, you know, because it's, uh, you know, it's, it, where's it going to go? Exactly. Right? It just turned into fat. So, you, you know, and you can't just break down all that food. So, you know, and I, oh, the other thing I remember is, I think I read one time a book is to have one bowl and just put everything in that one bowl and just eat that what's in that one bowl, nothing else after that too. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, a, I think it was a book, one bowl diet or something like that too. But it's actually a good idea for people who are struggling with weight. And, and it's a lot of people that are struggling with weight for sure. And you know what it is, is that you, you grow up in an unhealthy environment. And then, you know, we had, we came from an environment where they said, clean your, your plate, you have everything all, you have to eat everything off your plate. And then you, and then we have all these processed foods and all this false advertising on food labels right now. And, and also too, you know what, it costs a lot of money to eat healthy nowadays. You know, they tell yeah. you to eat healthy, but unfortunately organic food could be costly and not all organic food is healthy food you have to know what's the difference and who's trying to really finagle you and yeah. it, you know i i really is it's really important what we put into our bodies and do you have some suggestions for people who want to you know maybe break the habit they don't they look in the mirror and they don't like who they see or they don't like the way they're feeling they're feeling fatigue it's hard to get roll out of bed and we talked about also going through your midlife crisis where we have the, you know, the hormone changes and everything. How do you, you know, how, what would be some tips for people? How do you start getting yourself on the right track, the right eating habits, the right foods? What would be some of your suggestions? So if a client came to you and asked you that question, what would be some of the tips you get them to start, you know? On well, that way? I, for over the years, I have an enzyme detox weight management routine that yeah. I'm finally now launching. So glad you brought that up. I, uh, <laughs> launching on my website that people can go to the landing page and they'll be able to get it. So it's actually a detox. There's, I have what's called a vegan cleanse and oh, you yeah. just do that for two weeks or three weeks. And you can just do that alone as many as you want of that drink a day. I think what it's good to detox. It's good to eat less That's yes. and learn it and learn how good it feels. So yes. I, I have incorporated this for years. I saw some really good results with it. And if they stick with it and, and, uh, and taking the enzymes with foods, cause that helps you crave less. And then yeah. over the next three weeks, there's a uh, vegan powder that I have too, that you can incorporate. So you have the, the, the vegan cleanse and the vegan powder and then a good meal <clears throat> once a day would work too. And that could be total vegan, or I said, you know, just a, a, a vegetables and some animal protein if you want to, and a little fruit, whatever works for you and continue to do that. So over three weeks, you could do it longer if you want, but oh, it can't hurt. Over three weeks, you'll crave less. You're going to lose weight. And you're going to feel better. You're going to incorporate enzymes. You're going to help you digest. I think it's really good to do some kind of fast like that or, yeah. or intermittent fasting. I like too, if that works for you, but stop a little bit, eat less, see how good it feels to eat a little less and, yeah. and digest the food that you're eating. And you can have snacks if you feel you need to, if you have a meeting, you have to go to or whatever that you feel you need a little bit more extra fuel. That's fine. Yeah. But make sure they're vegan, you know, vegetable snacks rather than all that other processed foods. I love it. It's worked. I finally decided to put it on there and people can now enjoy that process and, and benefit from it. And then you can do it as much as you want can hurt you. You know, eating less is not going to help <laughs> hurt you. People get, uh, you know, it comes from when we, a long, long time ago when we didn't have enough food, <laughs> you know, yeah. we, we, you know, we, 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 we had to do a lot to get that food. That's not happening now, you know, so you can buy, I think eating less is very, very important to learn and to 
practice routinely, really. Yeah. And I notice when you start to eat less, your stomach begins to shrink and then you crave less food yeah. also. Right. And, and yeah. then also doing things like, you know, a lot of people that dopamine effect, you know, they eat carbs to dopamine, which makes you, it's the feel good neurotransmitter and carbohydrates satisfies that dopamine. Yes. So when you you kind of learn and help the behavior, whatever with mindfulness training or neurofeedback or something like that, a psychologist, that when you get when you're stressed or you're going through something, that you don't look for those comfort foods, that yeah. you can do something else that will just as well help you get back right. to that peaceful, balanced state. I think that's really important because. The food, especially carbs, is just going to only cause more problems too. Right. So that's really important. Learn how to deal with your stress yeah. in a way that, and there are so many free videos. One of my friends and patient who who's written testimonials on the book is Jack Cornfield. He, mm -hmm. he and his wife, Trudy, have tons of free mindfulness videos, uh, practices, and, yeah. and guided meditations that are so good to help with stress. To yeah. I just uh you know I'm Jewish and I just had a fasting day last Monday, yeah. and and I streamed this uh, synagogue and she, Trudy Goodman was on there and she and it was so great she did these three my meditations with people and guided meditations oh my goodness they were so good you know it's like loving yourself feeling yourself as a little kid and what that feels like. And now you're still that little kid in a bigger body. You know, yeah. I was just, it, I, it was just, it made the whole, that whole day for me. So there's so much available for free out there that help people with stress really. And right. for me, digestion is key to stress because if is. you're stressed and then you're eating bad, you're not digesting. It just makes it worse. It does. And and that's another way I think people can gain weight also is that when they're so stressed and, you know, either they're craving more food or like you said, it throws off your digestive system yes. and your body, your body is, is, is taking that food and it's storing that food. And, you know, your, your body, you know, thinks differently than our mind thinks differently. And when it feels these stressful emotions, it's, it's beginning to store food and it's beginning to, and, and it, it doesn't break down and it's not functioning properly. And uh, I think people really need to realize how much impact, you know, because 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. Mm -hmm. So it, it shows, you know, how, how stressful, you know, um, how stress plays such a, a important factor in, in our health. And, you know, I, I think it's great that you brought up, you know, mindful thinking and mindful meditation. And, and because I think that's such an important important technique and breathe, learn how to breathe slower and really, you know, you could be in any setting and just apply those things for a few minutes and change your whole way that you feel. Makes. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's so some people say I can't meditate. Well, there are other things too, you know, go yeah. out and walk, take a walk or do something else, you know, do something different, but don't eat those carbs. <laughs> I mentioned carbs because carbs definitely are the feel good, the dopamine. Yeah. Know. So what do you think about beans, like maybe black beans or like maybe a sweet potato? Do you call that? Do you think are those foods that you would suggest to stay away from or you could eat? I like them. I think they're good. I like sweet potatoes, the root vegetables, I think are important. They help you the fiber. It fills you mm -hmm. up. I like that. And I think beans are, are excellent. Again, as a vegan. I mm -hmm. highly recommend them. I know there are some people that talk about, you know, the lectins and all that. Some people, if you're sensitive to lectins, maybe that's not a food for you, but not everybody is. <laughs> and so I think it's, it's a good food. Yes, definitely. There's some, you know, and I'm into soy. I, I'm upset the fact that it feels like it is a universal down. <laughs> people are down on soy. I think soy is very good organic soy and yeah. because it helps, it's a phytonutrient. So it helps take up those estrogen, estrogen receptors in the mammary glands, the ovaries, and uh -huh. it's good. I, so I'm a, a, I believe in soy as a good protein and it tends to have, there's less fat than some of the other beans. So that's why I like it too. 
Yeah, you know, because when when we think of carbohydrates, you're you're referring more to the unhealthy carbohydrates, yeah. those processed yeah. carbohydrates. Yeah. So yeah. foods, you know, that are in the vegetable area that are considered carbohydrates, those are good foods to to yeah, focus exactly. on. Thank you for bringing that. Absolutely, highly highly agree with that. So I want you to tell everybody about your website. Let them let them know where they can c- contact you and go to and tell everybody a little bit about those programs that you have because I think they could be really beneficial for yes. people. So my website is drellencutler.com and and I talk about my ECM work and the technique that now I teach to everyone. I used to only teach to doctors, other healthcare and healthcare practitioners. I think anyone wants to learn it. So I have mothers that want to learn it because they want to help their selves, their children, their spouses. And so I'm excited about that. So I teach that. Our next teaching is November. And oh, then nice. then while I'm launching the, and then my new book, I'm launching this detox enzyme weight management program that's available to anyone. You can get it, use it. You can contact me to help and I'll consult with you. Cynthia, who's my assistant, is knows my work just as well as anyone she's there to help so i'm very happy now bring that to the public as well too and i my practice is totally full but now i have practitioners that i can refer people to who do my work and we can do it via zoom too so that works great yeah. Oh my God. That sounds wonderful. And they can also go on there and get your enzymes. Also. Oh yeah. I was just going to say, you've been reading my mind. Yes. My yeah. enzymes there and the vegan powders, they're all there too. Exactly. Excellent. Oh, very exciting. You know, this has been great. Um, I'm so happy you came on the show, Dr. Ellen. This, this was been- wonderful. This made my day. <laughs> Me too. You know, you brought up so many important factors and it's so important. It's such an important topic. And I, you know, you're such a motivator, you know, and I, you can see the enthusiasm even when you talk, you know, so, you know, you truly love what you do and you have a passion for it. And I love people like that because you care. And that's, that's what really matters is that you care. And when you meet people who care, you know, you know, they want to sincerely make a difference. And I could see that in you a hundred percent. So thank you so much for everything. And ditto. And I'm going to read your book for sure. (laughs) Thank you so much. And have a wonderful, wonderful week. Oh, you too. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful, pleasurable experience.